Hey, what's up? Welcome back to our channel. If this is the first time watching one of our videos, make sure and hit that subscribe button so you can stay updated with all the newest videos we have coming up. Now in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down social media, how to use it to get clients. Now the first thing that you have to do is overcome the fear of using social media. And, and it probably comes down to two reasons. Number one, you don't know how to use it. You see other coaches using it, it looks intimidating. Uh, you feel like it's gonna take you a long time. Uh, and you just really don't wanna learn it. So if that's a mindset you have, well, you have to fix that. Because if you are not willing to learn it, I can promise you in three to five years, even if you have a business right now that does really well, you're gonna be out of business because there's gonna be someone who's younger than you that understands social media better and they're going to crush your business because they will out market you, all right? That's normally the first objection I hear is, oh, I don't have time or I don't know what to do or I can't learn it. Okay, if that's you, gotta change your mindset. The second mindset I see from coaches is they're afraid to do videos. They are nervous, they don't think they provide any value, um, and they really are afraid of what others think of them. That, that's really what it comes down to. And I know that because I was in category two uh, when I first started doing videos. I was so afraid to do them. It would take me like three hours to do a five minute, five to 10 minute video. And I was nervous, I was anxious, I hated being in front of the camera. But I never realized you know, how easy it was until I started practicing. The more you practice, the easier it becomes. But you also have to learn it. You have to learn social media. You have to learn you know, how to market yourself, how to talk to parents from a camera. How, and, and not only that, but be consistent, which is really the main thing. If you shoot a video once a week, that is so much better than doing nothing. But if you, do, if you try it once and you're like, oh, well, I didn't get any clients out of this, well, you're probably shooting that video for the wrong reasons. You should be shooting videos on Facebook. You should be writing emails on your newsletter. You should be doing these things multiple times per week so you can show your clients value and you can show them that you are the expert in the niche that you have. That to me is everything. And I can guarantee you, and I'd be willing to give you 100 bucks right now if you can show me someone that's in your city, that's a competitor, that's creating videos three times a week on Facebook and has a, a newsletter that goes out two or three times a week and they're trying to build their email list and they're marketing their business really hard. If you can find someone, I'll give you hundred bucks. I know you're not gonna find anyone because no one is willing to do that. And this is the thing, you have to be the coach that's willing to do that because when you do that, you will dominate everybody else that's within the sport that you coach and you'll have zero competition. That is what I've created for myself here in my city. And this is the exact formula that I've shared with the coaches that are in our mastermind program because once they start learning social media and they are consistent, ultimately they will get clients. They will build more influence over parents. Those parents will start sharing their content with other parents. And ultimately, like I said, you will be in the position as I would say the top dog, the guy, in your, the guy or the girl in your area that is the most knowledgeable, you are the best expert, you can have the best results with the clients that you train, and you need to use social media in order to show that, okay? You're not just using social media to show off what you do, you're showing, you're doing social media to show off your client's results and establish that you are the authority in your area, and again, if you just are afraid to do it, or you're not willing to learn, then this video is not gonna help you. But if you are ambitious, you wanna help kids, you wanna grow your business, you wanna provide value, you wanna establish yourself as the most sought after trainer in your area, then you can use social media for good as long as you are consistent. If you're not consistent, it's not gonna work. Like there's a reason on YouTube why we've been able to grow really quickly with our subscriber base, it's because, well, guess what? I shoot video Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I've been doing that since the start of 2019, and that's not gonna go away. If you have any questions for me about social media, what to say, you know, how often you should post your videos, 
how often you should send emails, what to write in your emails, how to sell in your emails, how to sell in social media. All right, that's a lot of stuff. If you have any questions about that, shoot me a text message here, or you can click on this button up here to learn more about our mastermind program. But if you need help with that, reach out to me. I wanna help you because I wanna help you have the most dominant training business in your area. And with that, you need to have social media. That needs to be on point, and that needs to be a machine for you. All right, that's it for today's video. I'll see you on the next one.